The Life Program French, financier pour l'environnement, is the European Union's funding instrument for the environment and climate action. The general objective of LIFE is to contribute to the implementation, updating and development of EU environmental and climate policy and legislation by co-financing projects with European added value. LIFE began in 1992 and to date there have been four complete phases of the program LIFE I, 1992–1995, LIFE II, 1996–1999, LIFE III, 2000–2006 and LIFE Plus, 2007–2013. During this period, LIFE has co-financed some 3,954 projects across the EU, contributing approximately €3.1 billion Euros to the protection of the environment. The European Commission DG Environment and DG Climate Action manages the LIFE programme. The Commission has delegated the implementation of many components of the LIFE program to the Executive Agency for Small and Medium-Sized Enterprises EASME. External selection, monitoring and communication teams provide assistance to the Commission and EASME. The European Investment Bank will manage the two new financial instruments NCFF and PF4EE. Topic: <laughs> Life Multiannual Work Program for 2014 to 2017. The LIFE Multiannual Work Programme for 2014–2017 has been adopted by a Commission decision on 19 March 2014, after having received a positive opinion of the Committee for the LIFE Programme for the Environment and Climate Action on 17 February 2014. The work program applies from the date of its adoption and enters into force as of its publication in the official journal of the European Union. It will be published in all EU languages with the exception of Irish. The LIFE multiannual work program for 2014–2017 sets the framework for the next four years for the management of the new LIFE program 2014–2020. It contains an indicative budget, explains the selection methodology for projects and for operating grants and establishes outcome indicators for the two LIFE sub-programs, for environment and for climate action. The total budget for funding projects during the period covered amounts to €1.1 billion Euros under the sub-programme for environment and €0.36 billion Euros under the sub-programme for climate action. For the first time LIFE project funding also will be provided through innovative financial instruments. The Life Environment sub-program contributes to one such instrument, the Pilot Natural Capital Financing financial instrument, which falls under the Nature and Biodiversity Project area and will help finance biodiversity projects, amongst other things. The work program also features an indicative timetable for the calls for proposals for action and operating grants as well as for the two pilot financial instruments covered by it. The first calls are scheduled for May, June 2014. Topic Life 2014 to 2020 Regulation The Life 2014 to 2020 Regulation EC No 1293 2013 was published in the official journal L347 185 of the 20th of December 2013 
The regulation establishes the Environment and Climate Action sub programs of the LIFE program for the next funding period, 2014 2020. The budget for the period is set at €3.4 billion Euros in current prices. The LIFE program will contribute to sustainable development and to the achievement of the objectives and targets of the Europe 2020 strategy, the Seventh Union Environmental Action Programme and other relevant EU environment and climate strategies and plans. Its most famous action is the Nature and Biodiversity branch which finances conservation actions within Natura 2000 area. This is the most important source of funding for such protected areas in Europe, although there is a growing body of scientific literature asking for a review in the prioritization of funded actions. The environment strand of the new program covers three priority areas: environment and resource efficiency, nature and biodiversity, and environmental governance and information. The climate action strand covers climate change mitigation, climate change adaptation, and climate governance and information. The program also consists of a new category of projects, jointly funded integrated projects, which will operate on a large territorial scale. These projects will aim to implement environmental and climate policy and to better integrate such policy aims into other policy areas. The new regulation also establishes eligibility and the criteria for awards as well as a basis for selecting projects. The program is open to the participation of third countries and provides for activities outside the EU. It also provides a framework for cooperation with international organisations. In June 2017, the European Commission will carry out an external and independent mid-term evaluation report and by December 2023 it will complete an ex-post evaluation report covering the implementation and results of the LIFE programme. The history of life The adoption of the Single European Act in 1986, which for the first time gave EU environmental policy a firm treaty basis, along with the Fifth Environment Action Programme, approved in 1993, really opened the door for the life funding mechanism. These two developments set the pace of environmental reform for the next decade and the LIFE program was one of the EU's essential environmental tools. Topic: <laughs> LIFE I 1992 to 1995 During its first phase, Life I, which ran from 1992 to 1995, Life had a number of components. Promotion of sustainable development and quality of the environment, new monitoring techniques, clean technologies, waste disposal, restoring contaminated sites, land use planning and management, aquatic pollution, urban environment, indicative allocation, 40% of the program budget. Protection of habitats and of nature protecting endangered species and threatened habitats, combating desertification, erosion, etc., marine conservation, freshwater conservation indicative allocation, 45% of the program budget administrative structures and environment services cooperation and network development indicative allocation 5% of the program budget education training and information professional training environmental education and understanding dissemination indicative allocation 5% of the program budget 
Actions outside EU territory, third country assistance, indicative allocation, 5% of the program budget. The rates of EU assistance for projects ranged from 30% for income generating investments to 100% for technical assistance measures. For most projects in the first two categories described above, the level of assistance was limited to 50% of project cost. These rates of assistance remained in place through subsequent phases of life. Detailed priorities were set each year. For example, in 1993, the Sustainable Development and Environmental Quality Component of Life I focused on projects relating to the textile, tannery, paper and agro-food industries, waste reduction and recycling demonstration projects, decontamination of polluted sites, sustainable development in agriculture, transport and tourism, urban transport, and modernization of environmental monitoring networks. During its lifetime, Life I funded a total of 731 projects, rising from 105 in 1992 to a high point of 245 in 1994. In 1995, slightly fewer 237 projects were funded. Topic Life II The first phase of life was succeeded by Life II, also running for four years but with an increased budget of AQ 450 million, covering an enlarged EU Austria, Finland and Sweden joined in 1995. With Life 2, the program was split into three categories, Life Nature, Life Environment and Life Third Countries. The amended regulation, regulation EC No 1404-96 stated that 46% of the program budget should be dedicated to nature conservation actions, this program strand became Life Nature. A further 46% was dedicated to other actions designed to implement EU environment policy and legislation. This strand of the program became life environment. A third strand, 5% of the budget, addressed actions in countries on the shores of the Mediterranean and Baltic seas, later life third countries, and accompanying and technical assistance measures, 3% of the budget. The scope of the restructured program was broad. Life environment projects had to contribute to innovation or policy implementation in the fields of environmental monitoring, clean technologies, waste management, the identification and rehabilitation of contaminated sites, the integration of environmental concerns in town and country planning, aquatic pollution reduction and the improvement of the urban environment. The objective was to demonstrate new methods and techniques that would have the potential for pan-European application and would pave the way for implementation of existing policies in different environmental fields, or for the future development of policy. Distinct from life nature, life environment guidelines were formally foreseen in regulation. This was an important change from Life I, during which priorities were set on an annual basis. Life Nature meanwhile set out specifically to contribute to the implementation of the Birds and Habitats Directives, in particular the Natura 2000 network, which promotes the conservation of natural habitats and the habitats of wild fauna and flora while taking into account the economic, social and cultural requirements and specific regional and local characteristics of each member state. 
nature conservation projects that contributed to maintaining or restoring natural habitats and species populations to a favorable conservation status within the meaning of the Habitats Directive were eligible for financial support. Projects had to target special protection areas or sites of EU importance and the species listed in the directives. Projects were chosen purely on their quality and potential conservation impact and not according to national quotas which ensured that only the very best projects were funded every year. Examples of actions supported include the protection of wolves, bears and bats in Italy, restoration of coastal meadows and wetlands on Baltic Sea Islands, and removal of non-native species such as American mink from the Scottish Hebrides. The objective of Life Third Countries was to contribute to development of environment policy and action programs in the applicable countries. Projects had to be of interest to the EU, promote sustainable development and provide solutions to major environmental problems. As Life 2 came to a close in 1999, participation was open to EU accession countries. The first to get involved was Romania, followed by Slovenia, Hungary, Estonia, Latvia and Slovakia. In June 1999, Life Week was held, bringing together those involved in life projects. This was initially planned as a one-off event but was considered such a success that it led to the European Commission establishing an annual Green Week in Brussels. Life 3 2000 to 2004 and the extension of Life 3 to the end of 2006 The third phase of the Life program ran for a 5-year period though it was implemented in four rounds due to late adoption of the legal base Its budget was increased to 640 million euros under Life Nature, conservation of natural habitats and wild fauna and flora, in particular the Natura 2000 network, was continued. New accompanying measures were introduced to encourage more multinational projects and networking amongst projects these were the starter measures to support the preparation of projects involving several member states, and the co-op measures to support the exchange of experience. In September 2004, with the publication of Regulation EC No 1682-2004, Life 3 was extended for a further two years 2005 and 2006, with an additional budget of €317 million. Euros. The intention of the extension was to avoid a legal gap between the close of Life 3 at the end of 2004, and the adoption of new EU financial perspectives in 2007. The proposal for an extension of the programme was based on the positive assessment reached in a mid-term evaluation report. Specifically, the report examined the role of the LIFE programme in the implementation and development of European environmental policy and legislation, and the actual management of LIFE 3. In total, between 1992 and 2006, the LIFE programme spent €1.36 billion Euros on 2,750 projects covering 40 countries and territories. The total estimated cost of projects to which LIFE contributed financially represented a huge environmental investment in Europe and neighbouring states. Between 1992 and 2006 the total estimated cost of projects supported by LIFE was €4 billion. Euros. 
Life therefore provided around 38% of the total investment, stimulating additional investment in excess of €2 billion Euros up to the end of 2004. Life Plus 2007 to 2013. The fourth phase of the Life Program, Life Plus, ran from 2007 to 2013 and had a budget of 2.143 billion euros. The legal basis for Life Plus is Regulation EC No. 614 2007. Life Plus covers both the operational expenditure of DG environment and the co-financing of projects. According to Article 6 of the Life Plus Regulation, at least 78% of the Life Plus budgetary resources must be used for project action grants i.e. Life Plus projects. During the period 2007 to 2013, the European Commission launched one call for Life Plus project proposals per year. Proposals had to be eligible under one of the program's three components. Life Plus Nature and Biodiversity Life Plus Environment Policy and Governance Life Plus Information and Communication Topic Life Plus Nature and Biodiversity The nature and biodiversity component continues and extends the former Life Nature program. It will co-finance best practice or demonstration projects that contribute to the implementation of the Birds and Habitats Directives and the Natura 2000 Network. In addition, it will co-finance innovative or demonstration projects that contribute to the implementation of the objectives of the 2006 Community Commission halting the loss of biodiversity by 2010 and beyond. At least 50% of the Life Plus budget for project co-financing must be dedicated to Life Plus nature and biodiversity projects. Topic Life Plus Environment Policy and Governance The Environment Policy and Governance component continues and extends the former Life Environment Program. It will co-finance innovative or pilot projects that contribute to the implementation of European environmental policy and the development of innovative policy ideas, technologies, methods and instruments. It will also help monitor pressures including the long-term monitoring of forests and environmental interactions on our environment. Topic Life Plus Information and Communication This new component will co-finance projects relating to communication and awareness raising campaigns on environmental, nature protection or biodiversity conservation issues, as well as projects related to forest fire prevention awareness raising, special training. Topic. Eligibility criteria Projects financed by Life Plus must satisfy the following criteria. Projects must be of EU interest, making a significant contribution to the achievement of the general objective of Life Plus. They must be technically and financially coherent and feasible and provide value for money. Where possible, projects financed by Life Plus should promote synergies between different priorities under the Sixth Environmental Action Programme, and integration, in addition, to ensure European added value and avoid financing recurring activities, projects should satisfy at least one of the following criteria. Best practice or demonstration projects, for the implementation of the Birds and Habitats Directives 
innovative or demonstration projects, relating to EU environmental objectives, including the development or dissemination of best practice techniques, know-how or technologies, awareness-raising campaigns and special training for agents involved in forest fire prevention, Projects for the development and implementation of EU objectives relating to the broad-based, harmonized, comprehensive and long-term monitoring of forests and environmental interactions. <laughs> Potential beneficiaries Life Plus is open to public or private bodies, actors or institutions registered in the European Union. Project proposals can either be submitted by a single beneficiary or by a partnership which includes a coordinating beneficiary and one or several associated beneficiaries. They can be either national or transnational, but the actions must exclusively take place within the territory of the member states of the European Union. <laughs> Submitting a proposal Following the annual call for proposals, applicants to the program must submit their proposals to the competent national authority of the member state in which the coordinating beneficiary is registered. Member states forward project proposals to the Commission, may set national priorities and may prepare comments on proposals, in particular in relation to national annual priorities. The Commission aims to ensure a sound geographic distribution of projects by establishing indicative annual allocations for each member state. These are based on population and the area of Natura 2000 sites. Proposals sent directly by applicants to the Commission will not be accepted. Guidelines for applicants Guidelines for applicants are published annually with the call for proposals. The European Commission also organizes information workshops for potential Life Plus applicants in each EU member state, providing valuable advice and guidance on what national authorities and the Commission expect from project proposals in national languages. Potential beneficiaries are advised, if possible, to attend one of these workshops, which generally take place in May, June and July. Answers to some frequently asked questions in relation to the application process can be found on the LIFE website. <laughs> Project selection. The project proposals received from the National Life Plus authorities are registered by the Commission and an acknowledgement of receipt is transmitted to the coordinating beneficiary. The Life Unit of the Environment Directorate General is responsible for the evaluation procedure. It will verify the admissibility, exclusion and eligibility, the selection and the award criteria and propose to the LIFE Plus Committee a list of project proposals for co-financing, according to the criteria outlined in the Guide for the Evaluation of LIFE Plus Project Proposals which is published each year with the call. The Life Plus Committee is made up of representatives of the 27 member states and is chaired by the Commission. Should this committee give a favorable opinion, and within the limits of the funds available, the Commission will then decide upon a list of projects to be co-financed. 
After approval by the European Parliament, individual grant agreements are sent to each successful coordinating beneficiary for signature. Co-financing under LIFE Plus The maximum EU co-financing rate for LIFE Plus projects is 50% of the total eligible project costs. By way of exception, a co-financing rate of up to 75% of the total eligible costs may be granted to Life Plus Nature proposals that focus on concrete conservation actions for priority species or habitat types of the birds and habitats directives. Topic: <laughs> Further information The full text of the LIFE Plus regulation and information for each LIFE Plus component, including how to apply for funding, project selection criteria and application forms, can be found on the funding section of the LIFE website. The LIFE homepage also contains information on the LIFE 3 program and projects, including a user-friendly database of all LIFE projects funded since 1992. <laughs> Background During the late 1980s, public consciousness about environmental threats grew rapidly. Large-scale environmental disasters such as the Chernobyl catastrophe focused attention on the need for higher levels of environmental protection. Issues such as the holes in the ozone layer over the poles and global warming prompted an acceleration in European environmental policy making and institution building. However, EU action on the environment can be traced back even earlier. EU financial assistance for nature conservation was first made available in the early 1980s, following on initiatives dating back to the 1970s. From 1972, measures to limit pollution and improve waste management were adopted. Then, 1979 saw the adoption of the Birds Directive, hailed by BirdLife International as one of the soundest pieces of bird conservation legislation worldwide. The directive called for co-financing for the management of special protected areas dedicated to bird life preservation. This recognition of the importance of providing financial assistance for habitat protection was taken forward in 1982 when the European Parliament succeeded in introducing a small budget line for nature conservation, enabling financing of a dozen or so projects. This funding was renewed in 1983 and provided support for small-scale, preparatory projects that nevertheless had a significant impact. In respect of the later ACE regulations Action Communautaire pour l'Environnement or EU Actions for the Environment, this support was known as pre-ACE. ACE, Action Communautaire pour l'Environnement From the mid-1980s, two regulations broadened the scope of EU assistance for the environment by establishing the ACE financial instrument. Firstly, Regulation No. 1872-84 ran from July 1984 to June 1987 and opened the door for the EU to grant financial support to projects in three fields. Development of new clean technologies Development of new techniques for measuring and monitoring the natural environment, and 
help to protect habitats of endangered species of particular importance to the EU, as defined by Directive 79-409, EEC. The first regulation was superseded by Regulation No. 2242-87 ACE 2, which ran until July 1991. Its scope was widened to include the financing of demonstration projects in the fields of waste, contaminated site restoration and remedial action for land damaged by fire, erosion and desertification. In all, the ACE program funded 53 nature protection and 55 clean technology projects. The total cost of these projects during the lifetime of the program 1984 was AQ98 million, with the EU providing AQ41 million, or 44.5% of the total cost. In addition, a different budget line was made available from 1988 onwards for «urgent actions for endangered species». It was not supported by a regulation but was included in the annual budget of the Commission by the European Parliament. In total, 50 projects were financed with assistance totaling €3 million Euros under this budget. <laughs> MedSpa and NORSPA Running concurrently with ACE were two programs supporting environmental projects in two specific regions, MedSpa Mediterranean, and NORSPA Northern European Maritime regions. MedSpa ran from 1986 to 1991, supporting 198 projects to the tune of AQ38 million. Projects financed covered water resources, prevention of water pollution, waste disposal and, more than 25% of supported projects, conservation of habitats and endangered species. NORSPA had a shorter life, running from 1989 to 1991. It was a special fund set up in response to particular concerns about the Northern European Maritime Regions, and provided AQ16 million in funding for 38 projects. It prioritized conservation of marine life and integrated management of biotopes, with a particular emphasis on international cooperation and coordination. Projects financed included a program for return of large migratory species such as salmon to the Rhine, which received nearly a Q5 million, and recolonization of eelgrass in shallow coastal waters around Denmark EU funding of a Q252,500. The ACNAT interlude As the ACE program concluded in 1991, a separate fund for nature, actions by the EU for nature Council Regulation 3907 91 known as ACNAT was adopted. This was designed to help support the implementation of the newly adopted Habitats Directive in May 1992 at a time when the EU was expanding its competence in the field of habitat conservation. The intention of ACNAT was that actions for bird species and sites could continue to receive support in the context of the birds directive and in addition funds would be made available for the conservation of other endangered species and habitats. In the event, however, ACNAT was quickly superseded by the adoption of a new, all-encompassing environment fund that targeted five main priority fields. 
With this fund, and its first phase budget of AQ400 million, Life I Council Regulation 1973 seconds was born. <laughs> 